So I uh, hear we're working on quads now. This is our 1990-something Yamaha Blaster. We've had it for about eight years now, but it's been sitting for the last five in a shed outside. Haven't even tried to start it. We're gonna have to rebuild the carb today and drain the fluids and put some more fluids in it. We're gonna pack some wheel bearings, fill up some tires full of air, and see if we can get it screaming again. When we bought this quad, it was for $400 and we got two half quads. One's just a chassis and the other one had half a motor in it still. This one had the full motor, but it was completely apart and rusty. And we bored out this jug a little bit, put in a Weissco piston and it ripped. It's uh, yeah, 200 cc's, but it does catwalks all day long. It is the catwalk king of the quads. So now that we have some spare time, I'm thinking it's gonna be fun to get it back on the road or in a field. This thing has some pretty basic upgrades, an FMF pipe, little bigger jets, some upgraded reeds in it, obviously the Weissco piston. Other than that, we just put a squishier, more comfortable seat on it and got it recovered. It runs really good. It ran really good. These are super easy to work on. It's a project anyone can get into, no matter what your budget. On the bottom right here, there's a 12 mil drain plug. We're gonna crack that and get started on draining. These engines only hold three quarters of a quart of oil, so don't be too concerned when not a lot of fluid's coming out. This oil was pretty gross. It was time to change it for sure. So in these engines, it shares the crankcase with the transmission. So you need to put an oil in it that is going to be good for wet clutches. So always go with motorcycle oil that's designed for wet clutches. It's not filled with a bunch of additives that are going to force the transmission and the clutches to slip lots and wear out prematurely. Plugs back in, new gasket on the plug because the old one was in terrible condition. It says right here on the side of the crankcase, 650 mils, and that's like three quarters of a quart. The flavor we're using today is 1040 Lucas because it was on sale and it's motorcycle oil, so we're gonna be fine. Bottoms up. So this is a 946 milliliter jug. 650 needs to go into there. And an easy way to check how much you've poured in is just putting a flashlight up to the top of the jug and you can very clearly see that the line is at 300 milliliters remaining. Another way that you can check on these blasters is there's a sight glass way down under there, but they get dirty and full of stuff and clogged up over time. But you want that to be about half full. You don't want that full full because that's probably over full. Aim for a half to three quarters. Yamaha has always had these gar carburetors with these goofy throttle linkage houses on top of them on all their side draft carbs. So we'll just unscrew it right here, flick this down, undo this, and it'll pop right off. Of course, we had to take off the gas tank to get the carb out because engineering. But this is her, it's pretty grotty. And uh, I had that right there all sealed up with Teflon tape because these threads are lacking. But we'll get this thing cleaned up, blow out all the jets, and throw it back on. They're pretty simple. You have like an idle jet, a main jet, and a bowl. Like it's just your typical float system in there. It's all very simple. There's like seven holes in the whole carburetor. And there you have it. It's that easy to find out where all the cuts on your hand are. So yeah, the uh, carb kit I ordered for this thing, it said prime, next day shipping, and then, well, it's gonna be here in a week. So I didn't put any new gaskets in, but that's totally fine. All the holes are uh, clear now. There's a fair bit of corrosion in there just from sitting for so long. So I'm glad we tore it apart just to see what it looked like. But uh, the carb kit, is also being shipped with new gas line everywhere. That's also not gonna be here for a week. So until then, this is gonna work just fine.
But yes, very simple. A float, a needle, a seat, two through holes, and your typical bowl. Couple vents, very easy. Let's put it back on. Well, we have the gas tank off. We might as well pull the spark plug and see how it is. You know, it's not bad. A little rich, but rich is safe. I like that. Wasn't running terrible at all. Let's throw this back in, throw the gas tank back on, put the seat back on, give it a kick. This Kickstarter is garbage. A surefire way to make friends with your neighbors is starting a two-stroke at night. So there we have it. A smoky happy ending to a two-stroke story. That wasn't a long night, guys, and it was literally free. This quad's awesome, and it will be catwalking in no time, just burning through the fields. Thanks for uh, watching me tune this thing up, and we'll go bombing around soon. We'll see you next Tuesday.